Welcome to Mojo Plays! Today we're taking a look at the most important details to know before picking up Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And to all Mario fans around the world, I look forward to meeting you at some future events. Okie dokie, let's go! Wahoo! Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. A brand new Mario. Now you may know me for voicing characters from Nintendo's games like Super Mario. In case you missed the bombshell, longtime Mario voice actor Charles Martinet will no longer be voicing the character. Martinet has been with Nintendo since Super Mario 64. Not only that, but he also voiced Luigi, Wario, and Waluigi across many games, so it really is the end of an era. However, that doesn't mean he's done with Nintendo. He'll now be taking on the role of Nintendo Ambassador, and will still go to plenty of fan conventions. In what could only be described as extreme bittersweetness, players realized his last Mario-related gig was for the 2023 animated movie, where he played the plumber's father. Wahoo! Mario, you were amazing! <laughs> Nintendo has kept quiet about the new voice for the brothers, but they've got some big boots to fill. Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. The cast. In most 2D Mario games, it's safe to assume who you'll be playing as. But for wonder, there are a couple of surprises thrown in with the usual suspects. With Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Toadette, two Toads, four Yoshis, and Nabbit, it's the largest cast of characters of any Mario platformer. Not for nothing, but this marks Daisy's first time as a playable character in a mainline Mario, outside of the mobile spin-off Super Mario Run. Director Shiro Mori, who also helmed Switch port New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, stated that his daughters often argue over who gets to be Peach in other games. By adding Daisy, he's solving one of his own problems. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. Easy mode. The Yoshis and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. While we've already talked about the cast of characters we'll be able to play as, two of them deserve a little bit more time. Yoshi and his different colored counterparts, as well as Nabbit, essentially act as this game's easy mode. If they get hit by an enemy or hazard, they'll flash for a second but take no damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. They can still die by falling into a hole or lava, but that seems to be the only way. Furthermore, Yoshi retains his flutter jump and ability to eat basically anything. The majority of the cast all look to control exactly the same, but these two might get delegated to younger players. A New Kingdom Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not-so-distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Similar to how Peach was playable in Super Mario 3D World due to Bowser finally attacking a kingdom other than hers, we're again heading to a new locale in Wonder. The game opens on Mario and Co. attending a celebration in the Flower Kingdom, where they've been invited by Prince Florian. But then Bowser attacks with a Wonder Flower, causing all kinds of disastrous effects. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. Like many others in the series, the game features seven main worlds, though Nintendo has naturally kept some of them secret. There are also usually much more challenging worlds unlocked after completing the main story, and we can't wait to see what skill-testing gauntlets the team has cooked up this time. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms, a scorching hot world full of molten magma, and more. The Elephant in the Room. That Goomba looks so sore. Well then. Most Mario games have power-ups, with one acting as a sort of mascot for each entry. Joining the likes of the Super Cape and the Catsuit is the elephant fruit seen across trailers. While in this form, players can break blocks and attack enemies with their trunk. You can even swat away spinies dropped by Lakitu with ease. And even do this. A 
Additionally, the elephant form can dash across larger gaps and store water for enemies and obstacles. While Nintendo has shown off the elephant the most, it isn't the only one we've seen. Alongside some classic power-ups, we'll also get a bubble flower that traps enemies and creates temporary platforms. Super Mario Galaxy 2's Drill has also been adapted for the 2D landscape. This makes dealing with spiky or hard-headed enemies a breeze. Wonder Flowers. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. Wonder seemingly gets its name from the Wonder Flowers. Found all across levels, grabbing one of these produces a different effect. So far, we've seen them turn characters into Goombas, cause a herd of enemies to stampede through a level, change your perspective, cause parts of the environment to act differently, and a whole lot more. Mario might become a Goomba? Not only do they give each level a feeling of randomness and discovery, but they can also lead to secret exits. Director Shiro Mori claims that more than 2,000 ideas of wonder effects were compiled and considered by the team, no matter what area of the game they were working on. Or blow up like a balloon. When you touch a wonder flower, always expect the unexpected. A different approach. In this day and age, it seems every other month we hear about another development studio forced into crunch to make a deadline. But with Wonder, Nintendo did things differently. Not only did players not know of its existence until a June 2023 Direct, a few months before launch, but the team was reportedly never given a release window to aim for. No deadline was enforced at all. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the Dolphin Kick Badge. Instead, the team got to take its time making exactly what they wanted. While this did lead to a longer development period, it also means the team didn't have to cut or rush through any of their ideas. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance your experience with online play. Badges. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. Power-ups and wonder flowers aren't the only way to change gameplay in the Flower Kingdom. Players will also be able to collect badges, which they can equip to whatever character they're playing as for a variety of effects. You can earn them by completing certain challenges or purchasing them from an NPC on the map. Or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges are passive, like one that turns a character invisible to both enemies and the player. Others are active, like one that lets Mario use his cap to glide and slow his fall. The third category is the Expert Badge, which Nintendo did not show off. But the game's official site states they'll give your character an advanced skill, whatever that means. While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map, be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Playing online. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. When most people think of multiplayer Mario, they naturally think of local co-op. And while that's obviously an inclusion here, Wonder will also come with online functionality. Playing online will show so-called shadows of other players on the world map and in levels. While your progress will be kept separate, Players can share items, revive others if they go down, and place standees that can revive them if no one else is around. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not-so-easy areas and help your fellow players. Being helpful earns you heart points, though it's unclear what these are used for other than signifying that you're a nice person. You can also create rooms to play online with friends in a similar fashion, except that you can challenge everyone to a speedrun on any level. Then make a run for it. Release info. Onward and upward. <laughs> Much like Metroid Dread, Super Mario Bros. Wonder was announced only a few months before its release date. Fans don't have much longer to wait, as the game launches on October 20th, 2023, though it will have some competition with Marvel's Spider-Man 2. 
For the collectors, or for anyone looking to upgrade, Nintendo is also releasing a new OLED Switch on October 6th. However, the Mario Red model is a little basic, being a solid color with only a hidden Mario silhouette and some coins. Regardless, Wonder will be the first traditional 2D Mario since New Super Mario Bros. U, which originally launched on the Wii U in 2012. Whatever it holds, we're looking forward to exploring its wondrous levels. When Super Mario Bros. Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. How excited are you to play Mario's latest? Wahoo, Zowie! And which character will you be playing as? Sound off in the comments below, and don't forget to watch these other great videos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.